Are you, as a landowner, making the number one mistake in forestry? Stick around to find out. As the video title suggests, you might be making the biggest mistake in forestry. Let me explain. I created this channel for you guys. If you are a property owner and have some acreage, or are looking to buy a property with some acreage or some trees on it, I'm here to help. I've been in the industry for over eight years, our family has been in it for well over 30 years. And I have a deep understanding of the industry, I've um, worked in almost every aspect of the, of the business. I am out there cutting currently every day, working on a crew, and I've seen property owners and landowners being taken advantage of more than I care to say. So my goal for this channel is to educate you as a landowner and hopefully help you make better decisions going forward. Most people think that after the contract is signed that the loggers are responsible for the rest. That same person then goes out after the job is finished and is frustrated it looks like a tornado came through and absolutely destroyed the property. What most people don't understand is that what happens before the contract is signed is the most important. Most mills want to come in and take as many trees as possible. It's more efficient for them, keeps their costs down, and in turn creates a larger profit for them. Now at times this is actually not that bad of an approach. You might be in a pinch and need as much money as you can out of your trees. But in turn, this is going to create a very unhealthy woods, it's not going to look great, and it's going to take decades till you have trees to produce more income later on. So what I'm talking about are these diameter cuts. And now, not all diameter cuts are created equal. There are generally two ways to go about them. You have the point of cut and the DBH, that's diameter breast height. Point of cut is where the landowner and the timber buyer agree on a predetermined diameter to cut the trees at. So let's take 18 inches, for example. Now, that sounds like a pretty decent size, but the problem with that is that a tree is not the same at the top of, as it is at the bottom, it tapers. And more specifically, it tapers at the bottom. And that is where the point of cut is. So what happens is, with a tree tapering right at the bottom like that, it allows the timber crew to go in and cut it right at the bottom. And they're allowed, they can, they're able to get 18 inches out of something that looks like it might be a 12 inch tree and in turn looks like they're cutting a lot more trees than what you originally thought they were going to. It's all within the contract and it's all legal but it's not what you thought it was going to be and thus creates a woods that does not at all look like what you thought it was going to look like. I very rarely recommend this type of cut. Um, there are a few places that it's, that it's fine. Um, if you have a mill, you know you can trust that they're not going to cheat you on cutting more trees than they agreed with. This is fine. And a place that it especially works well is if you bought your property for say deer hunting and it's really open and you need a lot of cover. This is going to create a lot of cover for the deer and it's going to create better habitat for your property. So that's about the only time I recommend doing a point of cut, a uh, diameter cut. Now the next option we have is called a diameter breast height cut. That's the DBH. And this I recommend for most of my clients. That's going to be where instead of measuring at the bottom of the tree, you're measuring chest high. And this is going to give you the cut that you mentally or pictured it's going to be more so than what a point of cut will. Your diameter cut on a breast height is going to be more true or more accurate and more consistent throughout the woods because um, it's not going to have all the taper in it. It's gonna, most of the taper will be out of the tree by the time you get to chest height. And that's what you're looking for. This is going to create a great looking woods. It's going to be much more consistent and it will create, still if you bought your property for um, deer hunting, it's gonna create plenty of cover for the deer. And most of the time when a diameter breast height cut is done, they're not going to be marked. So the trees still will have no marks on them and you will not be able to see actually which trees are being cut other than if you go through and just measure the trees. 
But this, if you have a reputable mail and you have people you can trust, this is something that I do recommend for most people. But there's still one more option that I feel is probably the most superior for them all. So select cut is where we go in and cut out specific trees, not based off a of diameter, but based rather off of whether this tree needs to be cut or not. So we're looking for trees that are dying, that are hindering young trees from growing, and trees that are, say, unwanted species that we want to remove from the woods. This is going to be generally better for people with large trees on their property and where there's a bunch of large trees and small ones and it's gonna be a lot better off going that direction than cutting it at a diameter. And I recommend this for most people. This is not going to create as big of a check for you, but it's gonna help the longevity of your forest. It's gonna be a much better option if you're looking to manage your forest over a long period of time. We've had one client that we've worked on since the mid 90s and we had done his property four or five times. And the last time was about two years ago, I cut it out and we took $40,000 worth of timber off this property and it looks amazing. It's probably the cleanest, well-kept woods that I've seen ever. And so if you've got some nice timber and are looking to manage your forest over time and have something that produces an income over time, maybe not as much initially, but over time it's going to produce more, it's going to be healthier, I do highly recommend this. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks guys for watching. See you guys next time.